Hello, this is House Call with Isaiah the Realtor, and I'm talking about crashes, not to bring fear into you, but to shed light. This is a crazy market, and we have seen prices soar above 10% over asking prices since the start of COVID. I know what you're saying, though. This looks a lot like 2008, especially to people who lived through it firsthand. But let's check the notes. In 2008, it was a madhouse of builders. So it was so much new construction that it put negative pressure on the market. Difference number one, we have no inventory now. And builders can't keep up to the demand that we're creating. So this has been happening before the pandemic. It just sped it up once the pandemic hit. Difference number two, we have a better lending service than we did in the past. Before, they were out here giving loans out to anybody that could breathe. And they made them very affordable, but then they made them not affordable as time went on through the through the loan because they had adjustable rates where your rate to start off very good and then your interest rate to go sky high. So it's harder now to get a mortgage than it was back then. So no crash is coming. OK. But. What I am seeing in the market is that buyers will soon press pause and wait. I know me as a realtor, I don't want to say that, but I can see it coming. Buyers are going to press pause and wait, but it will not stop because it won't be a mass stop because there will still be people out there looking for housing. Like those born between 1989 and 1993 are about to hit their 30s in during this time, this is a very good time to start your first time home buying. And this is typically when it happens. So they are getting ready to actually hit the market pretty soon. So we'll still see a increase in buyers, but it won't be as many buyers as there was before because you're gonna have some buyers that get discouraged, who wanna wait, who wanna save up because it is harder now. So they're thinking about saving up 10% or 20% to put down. It's not like it was before where we could get a house with, you know, 3% down and get some seller's assistance. Seller's assistance is not happening right now, um, but there will not be a crash. OK, another reason that a crash is unlikely is that when you factor in the income levels that we are creating, the housing cost is lower. The housing cost is lower now than it was in 2008. So I do think that a crash is highly unlikely, but I want to know your opinion as well. This is House Call with Isaiah the Realtor, and I am here to provide you everything you need to know about real estate in today's market and future market.